Okay, so what we're looking at is what we assume to be a magnesium deficiency. Right. And uh, you can see you're starting to get red on the veins and uh, a bit of discoloring in between. Um, you can see it more pronounced than some of these others. This is the first sign. Um, the next sign after that, uh, they, they'll recover health. This is after first infestation and they'll, they'll bounce back. The theory is that they've got uh, the, some of the virus and pathogens that the, that the aphids are transmitting. And then the plant recovers, but as the infestation takes over, you can see it develops to uh, a worse stage over here. I can show you. Right on. I'll go check it out. So they'll recover from that first stage, look a little better, not quite right. And then the infestation takes over and this is the next stage, more pronounced uh, magnesium deficient look. And then it, what they'll do is they'll recover from this stage again one more time, a little bit better, and about 10 days later, when they become completely multi-generation infested, it goes to what I can show you is the, the, the final stage. Okay, final stage. the final stage. Um, the, the soil is completely infested with them. You can see them running around on the rims, uh, tiny little things. And, uh, yeah, it turned from a beautiful, healthy pink kush. Two days later, it, every leaf was completely clawed down and gone, um, right next to all the other plants fed the same nutrients. They didn't have that problem. It always attacks the healthiest plants first. These things are very efficient. They go for the biggest, healthiest, most root mass, and then they move out from there when that when they, their population is too big to sustain in one plant. So is that diatomaceous earth on the base there? Yeah, that, that was one of the white stuff things we tried to do, uh, was to attack them that way with diatomaceous. Uh, it seems to have slowed them down. But they just moved to the bottom of the pots and come out the holes in the bottom of the pots. You can see them running around. Can you see that speck, Ramo? There's one right on my thumb. Oh, there it goes three across my thumb. Oh, yeah, I see it. Right over here. See yeah. how fucking fast Oh, yeah, oh, there's like three of them going around. There's one, tons two. of them. Holy yes. fuck. You can't see them? There's one here. Yeah, get some uh, like Two of them, three of them. Yeah, they pull back. Where is it? Right there. Can't even. I mean, it's amazing how fast they are yeah, for yeah, how I'll small they are. With a leaf. There's one here. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just trying to get focus in on the camera. Is he still there? Yeah. yeah there's right where the two. leaf is. I'm right on him. Micro capture. So we just got a chunk of leaf under here, and we're trying to get this uh, this aphid. That's it right there, crawling around. There we go. There's a couple of them. There's all one, two, three, four, and oh, that's wait. that's approximately. If we were to take a measurement, that's about four and a half millimeters of total viewing space on the leaf. Maybe five millimeters. Oh, this is way better than National Geographic. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope that um, intercept is, is that what the product's called? Intercept? Not sure. Yes. Intercept. intercept. I hope it works. Because uh, you got to take those suckers out. That's for sure. Oh yeah. yeah this looks like some pretty he pretty heavy duty shit. <laughs> uh, I hope it doesn't jump. I hope it doesn't jump. Yeah. Is there any plants here you've uh, put the intercept in uh, yet? No, we just got it today after looking for it and misdiagnosing and trying to figure out the problem. We just will we'll know in a few days. Yeah, What's well. been done here is um, they've got dolomite lime to make sure it's not a pH problem, but the runoff is reasonable. Um, they've uh, had diatomaceous earth, and uh, that's basically what we've had here. So the regular nutrients that we always do and never have an issue. We'll come back in a couple days and see what the intercept, that's what the product's called, right? Yeah, and the drug is, or the active ingredient is imidacloprid, I believe. What was it called? Imidacloprid, IMID for short, I-M-I-D. Okay, I can Google that. Awesome. Thanks, man.